Hello and welcome back to the Potato Dragon. Wait, this isn't the Potato Dragon. This is dumb nerd stuff. Wow. So hey guys, I'm making a new channel. It's called Dumb Nerd Stuff and you'll never guess it. I'm doing dumb nerd stuff. Jazz. But anyways, I'm going to be doing dumb nerd stuff, so I'll just get to that now. Hey kids, today we're going to be making a fun thing I like to call thermite. I like to call it that because that's what it's called. Now if you want to make your own thermite, don't. It's a bad idea. But also, all you need is some of your own rust, some of your own aluminum powder, which you can just use any old aluminum. You don't have to order aluminum powder. For instance, you can just get aluminum woods. You can grind them. Unfortunately, I'm a loser and I can't grind things. And then you get yourself either some magnesium or some potassium permanganate. However, if you use magnesium, it will become highly ignitable and will ignite from anything. However, if you use this, young child, then all you have to do is get yourself some glycerin. Wait, no, that's not glycerin. Oh, there we go. You get yourself some glycerin, and you pour it in the cup of thermite. Now, kids, I highly recommend using gloves, because I didn't, and now my hands are burning. I'm just kidding, of course, but do use gloves to be safe. And also be aware, this can be quite explosive. Remember, kids, you have to follow a very specific igniting procedure. What you want to do, it's very simply, you get your stuff here, you, you pour it in, and then you run. The only thing, might have messed up some of my ratios. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I want to touch that. I'm gonna do it anyway, cause I'm smart. Huh. So however interesting that may be, I might need to ignite it a bit more. It's very strange. Oh, that's smoke. Quite a bit of smoke. Oh boy. Well, that's more smoke. Well, that's a lot of smoke. You can't really see it on the camera, but there's quite a bit more smoke than it looks like. What's going on in there? Huh. 
but will the thermite ignite? Doesn't look like it. Come on, we need that ignition. Big money. If it's gonna work. No, if that does work, it's probably gonna explode, so I'm gonna stand back. No, I'm too dumb, I'm gonna stand closer. Ooh. Very interesting what's going on in there. Looks like it's boiling the glycerin. Doesn't look like it's igniting the thermite mixture. Oh. I have no idea what's going on. Um very jazzy. This wasn't the expected start to dumb nerd stuff, but uh, you know, I did something, something happened. It's always a good start. And this cup is very hot, I think it's burn resistant though. Well, there's, a, there's definitely a hole in the bottom of that cup. Uh, well, I did do something. It's a very hot cup. Whilst well, the experiment did ultimately fail, Still a good one. Okay, I'm just gonna skip to the overview. See you guys later. Okay guys, so I overlooked my procedure. I figured out that most likely there are two things that could have gone wrong. One was not a pure enough uh, iron oxide mix. Which would make sense that most thermite ma uh, mixtures call for red iron oxide. However, I just used normal. Um, problem two could quite possibly be that the potassium permanent again was not hot enough. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct. But either way, I uh, probably won't be uploading anything for a while. But I will figure out my thermite. And then I'm going to make it go kaboom boom. So stay tuned for more thermite with Aiden. See you later, nerds.